Hello, everyone. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of different ideas that you might be able to use to incorporate this into maybe that getting to know me flip grid activity or getting to know the class. There are a couple options you can use in Flipgrid to help you out with this. So the two options that I'm going to highlight here are one, you could do a screen recording so that you can show whatever's on your screen. Maybe you want to prepare a Google Slides presentation with some photos or some things about your class, more instructional. That's the first option. And then the second option that I'm going to show is how you could just pull in a series of photos and show that in the Flipgrid and then talk it out. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm actually doing a screen recording of a Flipgrid, it's kind of weird, but I wanted to show you how you can do this for yourself. So when you go into the Flipgrid, if you click on the options, then there's this record screen option. And if you choose that, then you can just press start recording your screen. And that will allow you to just capture your entire screen or just the window, very much like what we do in a Google Meet. And that will allow you to share anything that's on your screen with your class um, in making this Flipgrid. So I'm not gonna do that option right now. Let me show you another option that you can do. So the other option is to just pull in the pictures and how you would do that is if you go to the effects, then you can pull in a photo just like that. So I could add what they're calling a custom sticker. Let's pull in a picture of Buddy that of course I have on my desktop. Um, so, you know, I could maybe talk through some images just like this. So I could be talking and put Buddy in the corner and then kind of talk about well, Buddy is my little toy poodle. If you didn't know, I actually got Buddy my first year that I came to Bullis back in 2007, and he was two. So he's an old little guy now. Anyway, you can talk through that as you are recording or Flipgrid, you would want to press the record button first. Uh, and then you can press the pause button to add a different image. So let me just show you what I mean. So record. So at this point, I would present all about Buddy, all about our Buddy over here. And then I would press the pause button. And then what you could do is you can delete the image and then you could go to effects and bring in the next photo that you wanna bring in. So uh, let me bring Buddy back for a second because I wanna show one other option while we're here. So bringing Buddy back, another option that you can actually do that's new in Flipgrid is if you go to effects and you choose a board, you could do like a whiteboard and then you can split the screen like that. So I can kind of see my image over here better. Uh, I could even draw on it a little bit. If I go back to my effects, I can use the pen tool or even the text tool just like this. Type in buddy's name and position it just like that. So you can have a little bit of fun with this. So anyway, those are some ideas for creating your All About Me in Flipgrid. Have fun. Bye.